Welcome. This is one of the most uh, awaited topics. So probably in the last three years, I was not able to release it. So we are going to release it very shortly to everyone. And hopefully not sure uh, when this will be available on this platform. But in general, it is available as a course. So, uh, so far, I think that this is the fourth demo that we have already performed for the migration of uh, Oracle database to PostgreSQL 16. So uh, in, in one of them, we have taken the HR schema. The HR uh, schema has been migrated to the HR database in PostgreSQL. And in this particular one, which is very uh, nice to have, uh, we created uh, nine steps. So uh, what is the overview of migration of Oracle database? One of the schema, which is uh, called as uh, uh, the um, sales history uh, schema that has some uh, nine tables. I think there are three tables. Uh, there has been three tables, I believe. They have been the partitioned one. Yeah, so I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine tables out of nine. There are four which are partitioned, and uh, there are others which are non partitioned. So the partitioned ones are having the maximum number of rows, one, two, three. There are three tables and rest of them are the small ones. So in this demo, we migrated a sales table along with the other tables. There are two tables which we had left behind. We didn't create in the source environment. We took Oracle 19C for the migration. We prepared the system. We installed Aura 2PG onto the source environment and uh, just coming back to the overview, we took uh, CentOS 7.9, Oracle Database 19C Enterprise Edition with the partition enabled. Then after the installation of Aura 2 PG uh, binary, we made sure that it is going to interact with the Oracle source database and we created a migration report. So the migration report if you see, it was, uh, where is it? Okay, this was the migration report, which had uh, captured that uh, total number of rows and the number of uh, one of the partition table, which is sales is having the range partition. And it also says like which table, uh, which kind of partition is not going to be uh, imported in the target environment. So once we made the connection with Oracle database using Aura 2PG, it has found out the sales uh, history uh, and uh, it has found out the number of the tables which are inside it. And we made sure that Oracle database is the owner of Aura 2PG. We created a project and whatever changes we made to aura2pg.conf, we made sure that it has gone to the new project. Then we uh, ran a migration report uh, just to find out how it looks like. So our migration report was like this. You can see the details over here. It says 15 cost migration units and uh, sorry, it's 188. The number is 188. And then we generated the DDL from the Oracle database. We prepared the target PostgreSQL 16. We established the connection. Then we created the DDL object and we loaded the data in PostgreSQL. In the first attempt, it, due to the data mismatch, um, we created uh, some of the extensions in the target environment. And we disabled uh, the foreign key just to make sure that it goes fine. And also initially we used SQL loader to load the data in our sales table, which has around uh, 900,000 of rows and that has been migrated to the target environment. And then finally, you can see up one of the table we didn't took it. It is maybe in the another, uh, this one, we are going to make sure that uh, we take for uh, another table. 
and we were able our main aim was just to make sure that we should be able to import the sales uh, table which is a partition table and we were able to migrate it to the target environment with the 980 and 843 rows this is how this this is not going to be straightforward and uh, there are some of the challenges that you have always to face when you are going to migrate. but in in general it is it is just like these are the overall steps that you have to follow in case you are planning to do it you can follow these steps and you will be able to um, establish it so in coming days we are going to release for more of the schemas and uh, we will see for a partition table and non-partition table how to do it and we are going to learn about it